all right so a new series and a new mouse i finally unboxed this thing here i was thinking about doing an unboxing video but i don't know i already opened it and whatever comment below if you think that i should consider uh unboxing videos because i can get uh, a lot of electronic products and stuff so in this series what i'm going to do is to take a look at creating a website for high school and i have not yet gotten permission from to do this but uh we'll see how that progresses as we continue to develop so i'm not sure if i'll be able to use any of the pictures any of their pictures or whatever further on any of the information but we'll soon find out so that's what i'm going to do and the reason that i started this this series as well is because uh of the issue that I, I i was having an audio issue with the other series so i had to stop it or at least put it on pause for now until i can get a mic used right the audio was uh trashing and stuff so i couldn't work with that all right so the two main tools that we're going to be using as you can see here my get uikit.com so we're going to use this as our front end uh framework for css and uh styles and stuff like that and uh, we're also going to be using Vue.js for our front end framework which is uh pretty amazing and it's very simple uh we're gonna add pwa to our pwa support to our project which is going to be able to uh basically the most basic definition i can give is that it can allow the, the the application the web application to have a uh, mobile support like basically turn it into a into a mobile app or a desktop app or whatever. that's the basic definition that i can give uh if you have a better definition you can just leave it in the comment below that's that that's all we'll, we'll work you know already that you're gonna need node for this thing use npm so then we use the npm install for the cli and then we create a project and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the view UI to install UI kit. We could install it from here, but I think it's probably much easier to just use the, U, the, the UI to actually uh, do that. So let's now go ahead and uh, start the installation process. So what I want to do now is I'm in uh, Exam H3 Doctor's view project. These are the view projects. And in here, I am going to create a project. So we're just going to say view create and that's definitely not done correctly and then we're going to give the project a name and i'm going to abbreviate it as drhs and for those who know you know so i'm just going to click on enter and have this project uh, start the installation process all right so i'm going to select some uh manual uh selections i did not want some of these stuff uh what i want what I want for this project is for, for it to have the PWA support that I spoke about earlier. We want router. I'm going to add Vuex as well. I'm not sure if I'm really going to need this, but I'm going to add it just the same. I'm going to add a, a, a CSS preprocessor for, for, uh, for less as UI kit uses that. I don't think we're going to need it via the way that we're going to install it, but I'm still going to install it there, however. And I'm not gonna have a link to it because I can't. I don't know. I just can't bother with the issue the screaming at me for uh, my preference, in a sense, and giving me their preference. So I'm just gonna run with that. Basically, the reason why uh, is because I am the only one who's going to be working on this project. If I had other persons working on it, then everyone probably should have uh, the same link or the same parameter uh, for the project. So to have that cohesiveness. Let's just press enter to continue. We're going to use history mode, yes, so that we don't get that hash. And uh, we're gonna click on con uh, oh, enter to continue. And uh, less, we're going to click. So again, the navigations are the up and down keys and enter to select with the uh, the one with, uh, with the brackets. You can use or uh, the parentheses, I should say, you can use the space bar. To select those the multiple ones so let's click on continue i'm going to use individual uh config files and then no we're not going to save the preset so let's have this project 
just for the corn here. here as well. All right, awesome. So now our project is completed. So I'm going to cd into the project folder. I'm also going to clear this to bring it back to the top. And I'm going to open uh, Atom. I already have the ID open, but I don't have the project. So I'm going to open the project now to see how uh, it looks. All right, so there we go. I have opened our project and we have some files and uh, uh, here, just a basic uh, uh, installation of view with our service worker, which this is what is supposed to be, uh, what configures the, the uh, PWA, so that's a progressive web application. So now let's just go ahead and start uh, installing the UI kit aspect of this. So I'm just gonna go view uh, UI and start that server. Alright, so I went ahead and navigated to project select and we're now in the C drive exams, HEDOX, view projects, and DRHS. So now what you can do also is just to copy the part, the full part of the project and just click on edit and paste it right here and that would work. So now that I'm in the project folder, I can just click on import this folder and it will import it uh, to the dashboard. All right, so we're now in the dashboard and this is the loading. Normally we would add some stuff here, but we're not really worried about that right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add UI kit as a dependency. So I'm gonna click on dependencies. All right, so we have we have less as a as a dependency here. Dependency, dependency less load and view template loader, and then we also have the main dependencies this and the service worker and this so what i want to do now is i want to click on install dependency All right, awesome. So we now have, as you can see, UI kit installed. Uh, so yeah, let's. I think I can now stop the server here. Don't need this to be running uh, anymore. I'm gonna stop this, control C. Yes, I wanna terminate this. So it's now disconnected. All right, great. So I think there may be some configuration needed but what I'm gonna do is so in the uh, main.js folder I think I may need to add some uh, lines of uh, script or code in here uh, I wish it had placed a plugin folder here and added to the plugin but we added to the dependency as I think what we need we needed to as a main dependency because I want this to run in production as well. So yeah. So in our UI kit page here, you can click on get started. And then we can navigate to installation. And uh we're gonna look for the webpack installation and just uh copy the code for that well here we go it's the wrong one i'm on so we are webpack and uh, then we can just do a copy all of this i don't need this so i'm just gonna copy the icons from there all right so once we have that copied then what we can do is we can just go back to here to our project and i can just go ahead i am going to just score but it still look good i'm gonna copy and paste it here get rid of that get rid of that and then we can move this uh, down right here so another thing to test this out what i want to do is to copy a component just to ensure this, this is working so 
I'm going to go ahead and copy a component, probably something very simple, like a card, so we can know it's going to be very obvious, uh, but simple in a sense. So let's just copy, so we click on this to copy everything, and in the, I can close this, close this, and in the app folder, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, comment the router view, that will, uh, the views, everything that's in the view folder, and just paste it right here, format this a bit, format in here, and then this will be our card, I can save this, and now we can go ahead and run the server just to ensure that this is running. So we'll see npm run uh, npm run serve. All right, awesome. So that's finished, and this is pretty cool. I can't wait. I'm not sure if they have added this to Nox. I don't think so, but I can't wait until they they add this the, uh, for the network. So anyone on the network can check this out if they have this IP pretty cool uh yeah so let's head to the browser now and just change this port to 8080 and head over to our project all right so our project is loading however the card isn't loading properly so the configuration isn't correct so i need to uh fix that so let's see how we can get that fixed all right, so there are some other lines of code uh, that I didn't want to write, but uh, to get this thing to actually work, we're gonna need to add those, and that's that's why I had uh, say I had installed the uh, less uh, loader and stuff like that. So that's why I added uh, that CSS preprocessor. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear out everything that's in this file. As you can see, the language is already set to less. That's what we need, and I'm, I just got rid of the default uh, styling that this comes with. So these styling, I just got rid of those. I don't think we really need them. So, well, yeah, I'm gonna leave them. And the reason why I'm gonna leave them is because I want this active link in here. So I'm gonna leave that. Uh, but here at the top, I am going to do an import. All right, so I'll add a uh, import statement right here. Is what is going to be uh, gonna help. It's gonna fix that issue that we're that we're having. Uh, so I'm just gonna say at uh, import. We're going to import. Uh, we're gonna go to to the node modules directory and uh, modules. I'm gonna type this thing slash UI kit. So we're going for that folder as well, and we're going for the source and then well, that's not work. and then we're going to go to the list and also we're going to get a file that is ui kit uh, slash less so this should do the trick uh here but to fix the issue that we're having i need to add a semicolon here as well so do that let me just separate these a bit i don't want to space as well so this should do the trick as it relates to fixing us not being that card. So save that. All right, so now that that is set, uh, we can go ahead and check out our page. And now you can see that we do have a card here. It doesn't look the same as the one that we have uh here but my assumptions is that it's because we have uh some default styling in here so that may kind of mess it up uh in a sense but that is pretty much it for the installation of view well not view uh ui kit on vue.js and this is the start of our uh, high school website so that's it uh thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one